Refugees are very vulnerable and with shelling, with worsening security on a daily basis, they feel more and more exposed and, and more in need of, of protection than ever. Everyday life is very challenging, so not only do you have the problems that you had before, but you're facing greater insecurity. Um, many refugees have told us recently that they've been forced to leave places that they've been renting for housing to make way for Libyans who've also been displaced due to the conflict. So at the beginning of January, um, there was mortar, mortar shelling um, close to the GDF. A few weeks later, we were informed uh, by refugees and people on the ground that work had begun to build a wall and also to complete what became a military training ground. Um, we uh, wrote letters to the government and uh, had interventions, again re-emphasizing the need for the civilian nature of the facility to be respected. It was then followed by two days of military exercises. And in an environment where the conflict is worsening day by day, we felt we had no option but to announce we would suspend operations at the facility um, because it meant um, that the area was becoming a military target and this was endangering the safety and security, not only of refugees and asylum seekers, but of UNHCR staff and our partners working there. What we are doing is offering refugees um, our urban, cap, uh, urban package of assistance. This is some cash to help them with rent and food, um, medical referrals and interviews with our protection staff to assess their needs and possible solutions. I must emphasize that although a lot of the focus is on people in detention, this makes up 5% of our refugee and asylum seeker caseload. Some 95% of people do live in urban settings in Libya. They rent housing, uh, they're able to work. We're not, uh, we're not uh, undermining the fact that daily, daily life is extremely challenging and difficult. We acknowledge that uh, what we can do on the ground is limited, but we try to provide the best we can. We continue to provide registration for refugees so that it gives them an identity. Uh, it means that they are a person in need of assistance and protection, we will try to assist them as best as we can. And it will help to protect them also against any possible move to send them back to their country of origin, um, where they fear that they may be persecuted or face violence. So it is a degree of protection. Although the GDF, uh, we are suspending operations, we continue to process uh, cases for resettlement and evacuation. This continues, this work does not stop and it will not stop. Um, we operate a number of emergency hotlines. We also have a community day center and our staff uh, are on board um, trying to respond as best we can to the many queries we get every single day. Um, it's not easy and uh, we're looking at, at now ways that we can improve our access, reaching out to refugees, how we communicate with the refugees. Uh, we're looking at having more hotlines, having a, a multi-agency platform as well in dealing with referrals and also setting up um, another kind of website where we can provide information, basic factual information on where to get help in different languages. So I think combined these should all provide more assistance and, and, and be uh, another service that we can provide for refugees.